what's up my Lost Gardens of Heligan Pineapples? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays. Now, I know you're probably wondering, why the long name? Now, when it comes to the most expensive fruits in the world, we usually take a look to Japan. However, this time around, we have something for the UK viewers. Yep, these ones are actually grown up in Cornwall, England, and have gone for over 10,000 pounds a piece. It's kind of nuts. Regardless, today we are back with another installment of the Weekly Night Wave, the series where we take a look at this week's acts and find the most efficient or most entertaining way to take them on. Now, now, unfortunately, we don't have a Warframe of the Week, but we do have a Warframe Inspiration of the Week that I think you guys might be happy to hear about. And as always, we have a couple things on the weekly watch list. But before we jump into any of that, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got going on with the axe. And I also have to confess, I made a big boo-boo, but we'll get into that in a second. So first we have a reactor, which is our daily, and it's kill 150 enemies with radiation damage. Next up we have a researcher, which is scan 25 objects or enemies. Don't forget to bust out your helios for that. Or the um, cyanoid heliocore, or any of the hammers that scan shit. Also, there's also a weapon out there. If you're using Arcwing Melee, which I know it's kind of terrible right now, I think it's called like Astral something. It's offered from, um, what's his name? The big orange guy that gets in your face up in there in the relay. He's got a mod for that as well that'll let you scan enemies out in space just in case you need it. Uh, then we have Earth Bounty Hunter, which is our first weekly. Complete five different bounties in the Plains of Eidolon. Definitely not doing it. Ooh, I might need to do it. Eliminator, complete three exterminate missions. That one is definitely on the docket. Saboteur, complete three sabotage missions. Very, very easy. If you go to, I believe it's Neptune... Um, it starts with a nest. We'll take a look at that in a second, but those ones are just like in and out destroys. It's really great. Sanctuary Researcher, complete five scans for Cephalon Samaris. Samaris is the one with the astral something that lets you scan things in your arc wing weapon thing, but it's your arc melee, which is terrible. Venus Bounty Hunter, oh, I hate bounties. Um, complete five different bounties in the orb ballast. They just really want you running around. Survive for over 30 minutes in Kuva survival is hold your breath and that's our first elite weekly. Then finally we have kill shot which is simply kill 1,500 enemies and basically that goes for anywhere in the sabotage, in the exterminate, even in the bounties. So you're bound to get that done no matter what. Um, now there doesn't seem to be too much crossover except for some of the dailies so that's a little bit of a sad act but here's a question for you if you are going to be doing bounties out in the orb ballast or out in um what do you call this out in the pla plains of eidolon what makes it not boring for you i think the only one that i can really think of in my head is maybe running around with zephyr and just flying from spot to spot because that's definitely been fun for me before when i don't want to bust out an arc wing and i just kind of like want to fly along and be like i'm a bird except for the fact that zephyr doesn't really fly just kind of like darts and hovers around if you know what i'm saying um so that is probably going to be the one that i'm going to go with if i were to do any of these bounties just for fun plus you can turn on turbulence and it kind of like stops enemies from shooting at you so it's it's definitely a good thing, but let me know down in the comments below what are the um, Warframes that you use for fun when it comes to taking down those bounties because they get really boring in my opinion. Um, now, if we're going to talk about mistakes, I want to go ahead and like show you guys real quick. I did rank 31. The, the, the universe forced me to, so maybe I'll go ahead and try to push it to rank 35 too so I match up with the very, very first one. But I'm not sure how much longer this intermission is going to run. So maybe, you know, I'll rank up to 32, 33 and just kind of chill out there before they start announcing when the next wave of, um, uh, what is it called, Knife wave, Night Wave is going to come out. But let's make a bet. Do we think that the next wave of Night Wave is going to come out before New War? I feel like it is. Um, but that's what's going on in my head now. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my Warframe Inspiration of the Week. Now, it's really been odd as of late because there is nothing in Warframe that inspires me to make a video. And I really do want to kind of like get back in the creative vision of Warframe. You know, at some point, maybe I'll want to do an all Railjax abilities video um, or something along those lines. But really, there has been no release that has inspired me to do anything, mainly because of the fact that there really hasn't been any kind of releases except for hotfixes. Um, but one of the things that did kind of get me in the mood is, as you can see, I am rocking the Tenebrious Ephemera. Now, admittedly, I don't love it on every single Warframe out there. I actually, of course, tossed it on my Loki, 
And one of the interesting things is it kind of like gives this weird wash of darkness over your Warframes. Um, but it kind of, I, I call it takes some time to develop because it just looks like this weird gushiness over your Warframe. Then it kind of slowly evaporates off and you get these trails of shadow, which is kind of cool. Also, your energy color does have these little flecks of like lights on them. It's very, very pretty on some Warframes. Not all. I actually don't like it on Loki at all. I'm not enjoying it. We also tried it on Necros, which a part of me was like, oh, that seems like it would be really good. And we gave it a shot and I actually did not like it at all on Necros. And instead I put these bats on. <laughs> so part of me was like, okay, um, well, clearly it doesn't work on everybody. Cause look at that. It just looks like he's dusty. He looks like that one um, character from Peanuts that was dragging around that like um, that, what is it called? The rag, and it's just always dusty and gross. But like I said, it does take some time to develop, but I personally prefer the bats. I don't know. That's just me. So my thing about this is as I was going through and kind of going um, to different Warframes, I actually started feeling myself Warframe-wise because I was looking through some of my old customizations and I was like, wow, I, I don't talk about like the fact that oh, I think I'm good at customizing. I think that, you know, I make customizations that I enjoy. I can't speak for everybody enjoying my customizations, but there are certain ones that I've been like, yo, that was a dope customization. Like this is potentially one of my favorite customizations that I've ever done, which is this one right here for Excalibur Umbra. I think it's just juicy. I think it's just juicy and it's beautiful. Um, so, you know, I hate to toot my own horn, but there are certain looks that I'm just like, oh, I love that. You did such a great job. Um, and it's very rare that I do that, but it also put me in the mood to start customizing again. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below a type of series. Maybe I could do um, favorite female Warframe Tenogen skin customizations. Something along those lines. Let me know what you'd like to see. It's not necessarily what I'm going to 100% deliver, but I'm kind of in the mood to fiddle-faddle around with that kind of stuff. Um, so let me know down in the comments below. The other one, and I have to toss all the credit out to um, Led, as well as the person, he, I think it was like Damon, Damon, am I right? Damon Star. So it was Led uh, who created the skin, but yo, I feel like I put my foot in this. I put my foot in this customization. I also put my foot in this customization. Like these two, I'm, but I think it's the skin that's doing it. I'm just putting that out there. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the watch list real quick because I'm kind of really excited for this. Over on Netflix, Ghost Bride is out. Ghost Bride is out. It's I know it's based on an anime, I guess. It's about a woman who has a choice between three men. It's either like a demon, um, a god, or a normal human being. I don't know what's going on, but I did just check it out before I started recording this video. And they have a UK, British, English dub on there, so you don't have to read anything on the screen. It's so good. I'm so very, very happy about that. Also, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 3 is out. I'm not really chomping at the bit to go watch that. In fact, I'm going to be watching Sex Ed Season 2 before I watch that, but I know some people kind of like it, and some people have been watching Riverdale. And y'all know the only reason that you watch Riverdale is for hot men's. Don't lie. Um, now, when it goes over to HBO, I have one that is on my list tentatively that I'm kind of excited for, which is The New Pope which is a continuation of Jude Law's Nude Pope, and I believe that it's actually a comedy. So if you watch the original part of the New Pope, let me know if you like that one. And also, this is for everybody out there who's ever watched John Wick. I've never watched John Wick. Do I need to watch the first John Wick and the second John Wick before I watch, watch, watch the third John Wick? Let me know because John Wick Chapter 3 is out on HBO right now, or HBO now, HBO Go, it's one of those. Listen, there's too many streaming services. I don't remember the names for things. Um, regardless, let me know what is on your watch list down in the comments below if there's anything that I need to expedite. I know everybody's been telling me to go watch The Expanse and I need to catch up on Mr. Robot. Just toss it down there. Also, um, what you would like to see when it comes down to customizations. But uh, that's it for me for now. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody and touch your body. You guys have a great week. I'll be putting out some more Warframe content soon. I'm just not exactly sure what it's gonna be. Maybe Fashion Frame. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.